2458 in this video and basically there's not too much to it it's gonna be a very short video the main importance that you need to know is that they added more documentation in their blog post which doesn't really affect normal users about this sign-in option so over here if you click the start button and then you hit power you'll see sign-in options here that's been there since last the last build that came out i believe it was 424 or i'm not sure exactly what the name was but that's been there for a while now since the last build, but they just didn't document it in their blog post. The other thing that they wanted to announce that has a little bit more added functionality or added tips to it is the tips app actually. So if I type in tips, you can see here that this is the tips app. This is obviously the dark theme for it, mainly the red and black dark theme for it because those are my colors. But this application has added some more tips into it so when people start getting windows 11 in october 5th um, they they can go to this application and see how to get around it and so you can see it right there it says getting around in windows so if you click that uh, it shows you for touch navigation different ways you can do it swipe fingers it says see touch gestures and then it'll show you exactly what to do swipe to change desktops with four fingers and it says swipe to switch to a specific app and so on. I haven't really covered it on this channel just because uh, I haven't really, I don't have a touchscreen device at all. I have a Razer Blade 15 advanced laptop and I have a giant monitor here, none of which are touchscreen. But this application is pretty much what they're pushing for. Now I can already see right off the bat um, a little thing that's kind of annoying in this application and it's the it's the formatting of the application and it's it's up here, the search, but the search tips bar. I see that it's aligned with the side of this right here, but the problem that I see, and I'm not sure if I can't tell exactly, never mind, it is rounded, but the one thing that I can't get my eyes away from is the fact that it's aligned on the right side, but the left side is just kind of, I guess it's in the middle of this icon here. It's just kind of there. You'd think that they just stretch this out and connect it right here and then call it a day, but they do have a back button. And I think, you know, that could still work. They could still bring it out to here so it fits the whole thing. Or what they could simply do is they could simply just stretch this in to be in the middle there. But this is not an app review. This is just a showcase for the new build. Um, another thing that they addressed in this is that they do have direct acknowledgement now on the blog post that these taskbar icons are, when you put it to the center orientation, these are never going to be centered exactly. These are actually drooping to the right right now, and it's kind of annoying on this big monitor, they're not actually centered at all. They should, they should be about here if they're gonna be centered or it should be about here if they're gonna be truly centered. They shouldn't be more drooping to the right over here. There's less space here than there is here. So that's another thing they acknowledge along with the usual bug fixes that they know of and that they always put in their blog post. And speaking of blog posts, let's go into their blog post and see what's in there. So of course they talked about try the new tips app. That's at the very bottom of their blog post. Um, then they have be sure to do the quest for the tips app now in the feedback hub. Um, they have a bunch of bugs as usual that they know about. Um, the one bug that I still haven't seen documented and hasn't I haven't seen acknowledged about is the fact that when you restart your computer or turn off your computer and then turn it back on, your taskbar sometimes and all of these, the date and time, the only thing that shows is the quick access menu right here. Um, your taskbar and everything can be blank and then the only way to get it back is either restarting a bunch or restarting Windows Explorer in the task manager a bunch to get it all back. Because when that happens, you cannot use any UWP apps, you can't use any store applications rather. Um, you can only open up the file explorer, you can only open up like a web browser like Brave and so on. Nothing else works and it's very annoying. You can't even report feedback or do screenshots or anything happened to me the last build and it's been around since Windows 10. It's just been a very annoying thing on the inside of program for that specific thing. But other than that, there aren't too many things that are added here. It's just kind of acknowledging the past. Um, I have a good feeling that a lot of the builds that we're seeing now um, coming out for the dev channel, even though they are buggy, really buggy, um, I feel like we're not gonna see a ton of new features really until after October 5th. We're not going to be testing anything until October 5th. That's just what I think. It's not concrete, but I have a feeling that they're waiting until they officially release Windows 11 before the dev channel really becomes uh, the true dev channel in testing new features that 
aren't may never come or will come later in windows 11 in the future so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this build build 22458 the previous build obviously was 22454 i believe yep 224 by 454 um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any issues that I'm not seeing on my end? Because um, obviously I have some issues that some other people aren't seeing. That's why it hasn't been fully acknowledged by Microsoft. Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, take care.